good book? Ah! I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, because I suddenly went blind. Oh, that. Just reports from Commander Cullen. You're an excellent liar. It's of no interest to you, I'm certain. It's a book. I can see that. It's one of Varric's tales. Swords and Shields, the latest chapter. The latest chapter meaning you've read them all? Not since this all began. We've been busy. That's just her favorite. Nobody asked you, Tevinter. <laughs> I couldn't finish the last one you lent me. I actually feel dumber for having tried. It's literature. Smutty literature. Whatever you do, don't tell Varric. Me? No, I would never. <sighs> They're terrible. And... Magnificent. And this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric is working on the next. He must be. You, you could ask him to finish it. Command him to... Pretend you don't know this about me. Battling the demons of paperwork. That's a fight nobody walks away from clean. You have no idea the number of times I've almost been killed by bills of lading. I've been meaning to come talk to you anyhow. I never officially joined the Inquisition. I don't know how to do this uh, disciplehood thing. I'm a businessman. Never really followed a chosen one before. I don't need a disciple. I need a friend. If you knew how intimidating you are, you wouldn't make it sound so simple. You just don't know what you are to the people out there. The Herald of Andraste is a symbol bigger than any of us. What am I to you, then? None of this shit makes any sense to me. Is this the end of the world? Did Andraste send you through the breach? I have no idea. You heard the crowd singing after Haven was attacked? Whatever I am to Thedas, I'm still just an ordinary person. So, just a regular person, like anybody else. Right. I should probably get back to work. Unless, uh, you up for a game of Wicked Grace? Would you have guessed such a pairing? No, I prefer a... Looking for someone to talk your ear off? I think I can oblige. Cassandra is waiting for the next issue of Swords and Shields. I must have heard that wrong. It sounded like you just said that Cassandra read my books. She's a pretty big fan, in fact. Are we talking about the same Cassandra? Tall, grumpy seeker, like stabbing things? Wait, did you say the romance serial? Oh, she'll be waiting for a while then. I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. That book is easily the worst I've ever written. The last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink.
I was hoping to give it to Cassandra as a gift. Oh, come on. That's just cruel. Even the Seeker doesn't deserve that. So, you want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial for Cassandra? Oh, that's such a terrible idea. I have to do it. On one condition, I get to be there when you give her the book. You've got a deal. I'll get to work then. You know, the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. What have you done now? I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. I'm not a child, Varric. Do not suggest I'm without reason. Uh, a peace offering. The next chapter of Swords and Shields. I hear you're a fan. This is your doing. Oh, yes. Do you really think I'd miss this? Well, if you're not interested, <laughs> you're not interested. Still needs editing anyhow. Wait! <laughs> you're probably wondering what happens to the Night Captain after the last chapter. <gasps> Nothing should happen to her. She was falsely accused. Well, it turns out the guardsman... Don't tell me! <clears throat> this is the part where you thank the Inquisitor. I don't normally give sneak peeks, after all. I... thank you. Varric's the one you should be thanking. I am but a humble servant to my loyal readers. I wonder if I have time to read the first part. But don't forget to tell all your friends, if you have any. Ah, <sighs> completely worth it. <sighs>